Welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Bob Parcell. And I'm Steve Furrow. We think we have a great location for our real estate office at 195 South Main in Rocky Mount. We'd love for you to stop by and see us there. Our office hours are 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. And if that doesn't work, well, we'll certainly visit with you anytime um, that is convenient for you. you can, we'll meet you at the office or we'll come to you. We'll do whatever we need to. As well as, Bob, we've got a pretty good website, don't we? We do, mountaintolake.com, and as we said before on the show, we have an extremely diverse county in terms of real estate, and we try to meet all those needs from commercial to large acreage track, farms, uh, homes at the lake. We try to meet all those needs, and uh, we do have a very good website, and very easy to get our contact information there as well. Yeah. And if you're looking for property, and you, maybe you're not interested in talking with one of us yet, you're just looking for property, uh, we've got uh, search set up there capabilities on our website. Just log in to mountaintolake.com and enter your criteria and it'll, it'll share with you all of the properties that are available uh, in the market and be glad to, you know, if you find that one you like, well then give Bob or I a call. Any of us there at uh, Mountain Lake Realty, we'll be glad to visit with you and help you in whatever way we can. So, well, Bob, we've got a couple of homes to talk about here right out of the gate. Uh, one happens to be a townhouse, and then another one happens to be just a what we'll refer to as just a single family residence. But both of those properties happen to have a POA or a Properties Owners Association. What, what does that mean, Bob? Well, <clears throat> I have a contract on a condominium in Roanoke. It's also in a Property Owners Association. Uh, what, what that means in, in terms of real estate is. As a buyer, once you obtain a contract, not an offer, but a contract on something that's involved in a property owners association, it could be a lot, it could be a townhouse, condo, home at the lake, for example, then the association needs to provide a current disclosure packet, and then the buyer has so many days to review it. Now, all that is in the, our purchase agreements and our contract, how many days to have to review it. It defaults, I think, to three days, mm -hmm. but you can change that. And I guess to oversimplify, uh, that's an attempt to be fair to the buyer. You, you walk into this townhouse, you love it, but you, nothing, you know nothing about the association. And the reason you don't get that packet up front is it needs to be current. And also the owner sometimes is charged to produce that packet. And for example, if you buy a condominium, the reason it needs to be current is they could have had a meeting last week and said in addition to our monthly dues, we're going to assess everybody $1,000 to put a new roof over this building, or we're going to update the pool or do something to the parking lot. That needs to be disclosed to the buyer. Sure, sure. So it's kind of a loose thing what the disclosure packet involves. Uh, to me, it's what the association deems it to be. But again, you get a contract, the seller's responsible for contacting the association to produce this packet. You have so long to review it. My understanding is your sole discretion. You can walk away. You, you probably can't change any of that. But, but to back up just from what, I mean, why did a property owners, why did they, why were they created? What, what, do you have any history? I mean, what, what does a POA, property owner association, what do they do? Well, again, it varies. Sometimes it's as simple as they maintain a road. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's more complicated, such as perhaps you live at um, a condominium or townhouse at the lake or somewhere else. They have a swimming pool, a tennis court, a country club. And since, a lot of these structures, you don't, if you have a condominium or a townhouse, it might be one physical building with eight tenants, or not right. tenants, but eight owners. So now gonna allow me to ignore my roof and flood into your unit. So the purpose, I think, of the association is to take all of that, all those owners' monies and manage the association, keep it current, have meetings to talk about what they can do and not or want to do. And then again, as an owner, you get the packet and give it to the buyer. What, what it tells me as an owner is, you know, be real prepared to have the association deliver that packet for you quickly because if you, as an owner, you do obtain a contract on your property. Again, the buyer has the right to walk away if they don't like the terms of the packet. So get it to them quickly to be sure that you clear that hurdle. Sure, sure. But again, sometimes it's as simple as a road, then sometimes it's real, they collect a tremendous amount of money, maybe $500 a month for some, because a lot of amenities go with it. Right, and, and, and the, those dues that are collected, I mean, a lot of times it goes towards some maintenance of something, whether it be, as you mentioned, a road or 
clubhouse, swimming pool, tennis. I mean, it all, it all, they pool that money together to, to look after and maintain the, the assets of that subdivision or whatever it might be that's, mm -hmm. that's common to all the in inhabitants, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's sort of how I yeah. look at it. A lot of times part of the packet is you know, the financial statement. So as a buyer, if you're buying something, and let's pretend there's 40 units involved in this association, and you look at the financials and they have $400, <laughs> maybe that's a red flag to you how they're financially handling it. Right. That's why you have the right to walk away if you don't like the terms of it. No, that, that all makes perfect sense. Yeah. Perfect sense. So, well, Bob, you want to jump right in and talk about, we'll get some properties up here? Sounds good. All right, this first one we're going to talk about. This is Hunter's Ridgeway. It is a townhouse. Um, when you look at this, it's a little over 1,300, or right at 1,300 square feet. It's all one level living here. Uh, very convenient here to the Rocky Mount area. I mean, you are literally right in town. If you're not familiar with where Hunter's Ridgeway is, um, from Rocky Mount, uh, North Main Street, uh, to Member One Way and then Hunter's Ridge Lane. And this will, of course, be the second townhome on your right there. So a, a really nice location here in Rocky Mount. I mentioned one level living. We do have three bedrooms and two full baths here with this property. Um, so we're gonna step right in. Uh, you get a chance to see the front. Here's the nice open floor plan. You see you got the dining room, living room, kitchen area um, all right here together. You do have a really nice set of gas, you have a gas log fireplace here with this, with this home. And you swing around, you get a chance to see the dining area and then part of the kitchen. Here's the kitchen, of course. Oh, Got to appreciate uh, all those cabinets. Plenty of prep area there. Here's the master bedroom. Bath. This will be bedroom number two. Bathroom number two, so it's three bedrooms. Here comes the third one. Three bedrooms and two full baths. This is Hunter's Ridge Way with a Rocky Mount address. Three bedrooms, two, two full baths, a little over right at 1,300 total square feet. We're gonna jump in here to one more property. Uh, this is Shady Wood Drive in Union Hall. This is uh, four bedrooms, three full baths, over right at 4,000 total square feet. It is a log home, as you can tell there, but if you're looking for a, a log home close to the lake, it's actually, uh, you have a deeded boat slip with this uh, property here as well. So um, check this out, Shady Wood Lane, and step inside. Um, I mentioned that's a log home, and if you can't tell it's a log home from these pictures, I guess we're, we're, we've, got, we've got some problems, but uh, certainly see that nice stone fireplace there. But this would be the living room. We're going to step around here to the kitchen and dining area. Um, this is a large area. We have an island. Plenty of storage space here. You see the the pantry there to your right, uh, you can fill up all kinds of uh, victuals in there for sure. This is the master bedroom. This is the master bath, large master bath here in this home, big soaking tub. Uh, here's the screened in porch. See here, and there's to a the shot. views of the lake right from that porch, is that right? Yes, sir. I was getting ready to say there's a shot here from the porch. And you get a chance to see that uh, lake view that you have here off this covered porch. I think we've got a shot below. Well, there's actually a covered patio down below. But uh, here we come upstairs, and there's a lot of space up here. Um, maybe be an office or a library, whatever, uh, whatever suits your fancy. You do see those nice um, pine floor throughout this home here. This is four bedrooms. There's one bedroom on the entry level, and you've got three bedrooms here on the upper level. <clears throat> this is the one bedroom that happens to have carpet. This be bedroom number two upstairs. The bath, there is a full bath up there. And this is bedroom number three upstairs. 
As we step downstairs, we do have the laundry area, a large mudroom area here as well. It does have um, an additional room downstairs. Um, great to be a great spot to maybe I think about a pool table or a little foosball area action going on. It does have another bathroom, full bathroom downstairs, so that makes a total of three bathrooms. You step outside, we do have Two garages. Um, the one on your right is a little bit larger. It's almost 400 total square feet, so you could get uh, a, a large, pretty good sized boat would fit in there, or a large car, truck, vehicle uh, go there. The one on the, the left is not quite as large, but still plenty of room to get in uh, to get a car in there. You have two, two of these garages. It is a log home, so you get a chance to see this outside, but uh, very rustic. Got a nice lake view from the property as well. It does come with its own deeded boat slip, um, so you're ready to go, and it's not the, not far at all from the home itself. This is Shady Wood Drive with the Union Hall address. We'll travel from that nice property on the lake in Union Hall to new construction. There's a Rocky Mount address, so it's kind of in the Callaway area, the way I see it. But come down. Callaway Road, take a right on Antioch, right on Creighton Ridge, and this home would be on your left, has a just under one acre lot, 1,568 square feet. Really nice floor plan. You can see the 8 by 24 covered front porch. We'll show you in a second the 16 by 12 covered rear deck. And both have 6 by 6 cedar posts, cedar rails, and black powder picket. Also has a covered side porch there on the left leading to a mud room. If you step inside the entry level, again, you'll notice the open floor plan was 1,568 square feet plus a full unfinished basement, nice walkout basement. You can see the LVP flooring in here it has wide base molding and five and a quarter inch crown molding, nine inch, I'm sorry, nine foot ceilings, recessed lighting, really nice deck on the back as well. We'll show you a little bit closer in a second. It will have stainless steel appliances. Also has stainless steel faucets. A three bedroom, two full bath home. There's lots of closet space. There's a Other features are three over one vinyl windows, it has Craftsman interior doors, and brushed nickel hardware, solid wood cabinet. Coming to that covered porch on the left of the mudroom, so you have one level living. In addition to the 1,568 square feet on the entry, you also have this full walkout basement. This is new construction, new roof, new heat pump. Here's a good view of that back deck. Has really good views of the mountains. Nice to have a covered deck as opposed to, you know, nothing wrong with the deck, but it's Really an upgrade to have a covered deck such as that. Stone to grade. Final board uh, batten siding. Nice home on Creighton Drive. Again, that's off the Callaway Road. So from Creighton there in between uh, Callaway and Rocky Mount, we're going to head to Henry. This is actually in Franklin County, but it has a Henry um, address. This is Salt House Branch Road. Four bedrooms, three full baths. It does have a single car garage underneath. Total a little over 2,300 square feet here on Salt House Branch Road. You can see the, the outside here, but we'll step inside um, as we get a chance to step in here. A, a nice shot of this deck. Here inside, we have the uh, living room. Give you another shot of the living room. You get a chance to see the nice fireplace here in the living room. Dining room area, see the kitchen over there, so a nice open concept here guys, get a chance to, if you're entertaining friends, this would be a great spot to do that. Here's a shot of the kitchen, and uh, plenty of countertop space and cabinets, nice island here, the uh, stainless steel appliances. We step into the master bedroom, 
Here's the master bath. There's another one of those soaking tubs for Bob. Appreciate that. There's bedroom number two, where this is four bedrooms and three full baths. Here's bathroom number two. See bedroom number three. And step down to the lower level. You see the, uh, I mean, almost a whole, you know, maybe needed place for the in-laws to stay. Be a great spot for that. You see the, the kitchen there and the, the living room area. You do have a full bath downstairs, as long as another, as well as another bedroom. And a little bit of a work area, workspace area here on the lower level as well. We step outside. I mentioned that we do have a single car garage underneath, so you got a place for storage for the the toys, or maybe just uh, you want that car. You don't want to have to be scraping any of the old frost off. Which we're warming up, Bob. Mm -hmm. Warming up, and we don't have too much frost left. But um, you get a chance to see. In addition, on the back side here, you do have a, a really nice deck off the back side of the home. Great place to hang out. Take in those sunsets or those sunrises with that early morning coffee. You are one mile, I should say less than one mile, from the Soft House Ranch Campground in Philpot Lake. So let's see, in the time that it takes you to hook up to the boat, Bob, you could be in the water from this house. From this house. So Who's hooking up the boat, me or you? Well, yeah, I'm driving, Bob. Because we're timing it. I'm driving, you are hooking the boat up, okay? Okay. All right. Just say it. But within one mile of Philpot Lake. <laughs> That's a Lake, better way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> within one mile of Philpot Lake here, uh, this is Salt House Branch Road um, with a Henry address. Yeah, Salt House is a very nice facility, to say the least. Next, we'll travel a little bit north of Rocky Mount. Towards Boone's Mill on Virgil Good Highways, where you found this home with 2.7 acres. It's well off the road, nice private setting. Home features 2,220 plus square feet all on one floor. It also has a partial basement. It's a four bedroom, three bath, one owner brick home. In good location, roughly 20 minutes to run out, just a few miles north of Rocky Mount. You saw the formal foyer, open living room and dining room, and open kitchen. As I mentioned, it's a four bedroom, three full bath home. All bedrooms and baths are on the entry level. Really good location. It'd be convenient to run up Rocky Mount. It does have a Rocky Mount address, but a little bit north of Rocky Mount. In addition to that nice covered front porch, you have that rear patio. Good, there's a good picture showing that private setting off of Virgil Good Highway. Nice covered front porch, a little bit north of Rocky Mount. This will travel to the other end of Virgil Good Highway, south of Rocky Mount. Like right on the Henry Road, so you're really close to that property Steve just showed you on Salt House Branch Road. You're very close to Philpot Lake. This is a one owner brick home. It's a three bedroom, one full bath, one half bath home. It comes with two lots. Both have state road frontage. County records indicate they total 2.75 acres. There's wood floors, updated um, flooring in the kitchen and dining area and cabinet. Three bedrooms and one bath are all on the entry level. Additionally, it has an unfinished basement. So it has a heat pump, a heating cooler, nice deck on the back. There's the adjacent lot to the right, so obviously some value in having a, a second lot coming with this property. Brick home, carpet work, three bedrooms and bath, half bath in the lower level, and the um, second lot. On Briar Ridge Road that has a Henry address, very convenient to Philpot Lake. As we move a little bit west of Rocky Mount towards Ferrums, where you'll find this home on Acorn Road. So roughly three or four miles out of Rocky Mount. You take a ride on Acorn Road. I've shown this house recently. It shows very well. It has 1,269 square feet on the entry level. 
is roughly 225 finished in the lower level. So your total finished square footage is right at 1,500. Four bedroom, two bath home. Masonry fireplace. There's laminate tile and ceramic and wood flooring. Nice updated kitchen as you come in from that carport on the right. Nice floor room on the back we'll show you in a second. Three bedrooms and one full bath are on the entry level. Again, four bedrooms, two full baths in the entire property. Updated bath. Here's that room on the rear, has good views, looking back out towards the mountains. I'm not sure if you can see Cook's Knob from this particular room, but you do have good mountain views, looking back towards Grassy Hill, and it extends out this, this way. Fourth bedroom's in the lower level, as well as the second full bath. Nice size lot. It's also an 18 by 20 detached garage on the property with concrete flooring. This one, like the one we just showed you on Briar Ridge, this one also comes with two tax parcels, giving you a little more privacy. A little bit west of Rocky Mount on Acorn Road. So there from Acorn Road, we're gonna come back into just pretty much downtown, if you will. This is a, a commercial offering that we have here. We have, a, from time to time, we get the opportunity to offer up some commercial Sites. I'm here. This is on Mainer Street, 0.23 acres. You'll see um, a great location. If you're not familiar with where Mainer Street is, this property is located just across the street behind the post office in Rocky Mount. So, um, this is Mainer Street. You get a chance to see this. It's a 20, 2450 square feet building. It is it's wide open on the inside. It's an open space. Great opportunity for someone that's interested um, in a great location, whether you're interested in running maybe a business out of here. Maybe you're, maybe you're thinking about a little sandwich shop or a brewery. You, you've got tons of, well, it's just wide open here. You can do pretty much whatever, uh, whatever you can imagine. You can pretty much do it here yeah, This on Mainer Street within Rocky Mount. You do see the inside here. It does have a, a rustic floor. Very, to me, it's a very unique setting. It does have a bathroom on the inside that's plumbed and working and ready to go. You do have a heating and cooling in the entirety of the inside here. You have the nice garage on the garage door on one side. So if you need to get a, a vehicle in and out, you certainly could do that. But uh, just there's lots. Tons of potential here on Mainer Street. There's the bathroom mentioned there. I turn around on the back side, but the, the metal building, uh, metal roof, metal sides. So we're talking about minimal maintenance here uh, with this property. Um, you've got 0.23 acres, so you've got uh, an opportunity if you're interested in some parking or needing some additional parking. You can see here um, you've got ample parking. In this spot as well. This is Mainer Street, the Rocky Mount address in downtown Rocky Mount. Next, we'll travel to another commercial property. This one not far from Cable 12, and we've been very fortunate recently in the last few years to do a lot of commercial properties. Our company was fortunate to list and sell the former Fidelity Bank building, and a little bit south of Rocky Mount, the a former, um, I believe, John Deere tractor facility was recently sold. As we said at the beginning of the show, we have an extremely diverse county in terms of real estate. We'll be glad to try to meet those diverse needs, including commercial. And this property, again, is located on Old Franklin Turnpike at the corner of Route 40 and Ayers Road. So you have great parking. You have three entrances, two off of Old Franklin Turnpike, one off Ayers Road to the right. Lot lays very well. In my opinion, if you wanted to expand this building, Certainly could go up, but if you want to go out, there's room for that. But can't emphasize enough how much a lot of times parking comes into play with a commercial building. You have plenty of parking here. You have a 3,600 square foot building. There's a really nice seam metal roof put on in 2018. It's covered porch. It formerly previously was a, a furniture store. But in my opinion, one of the advantages of this property is. <clears throat> The, there's not much demolition cost depending on what you want to do. Sometimes people purchase a property and 
takes a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of money to get to the point where you can tear things apart to get it where you want it. This is mostly an open building, so you should not have that issue here. 3,600 square feet. You have a loading dock in the back, also a set of double doors. I mentioned the gas furnace. As you can see, it's open, ready for whatever needs you may have. It's zone B2. We're more than happy to meet you and discuss your options here for this commercial property. Again, a little bit, I guess that would be east of Cable 12 on Route 40 and with a Glade Hill address. Very good property, 3,600 square feet. So, Bob was sharing with you that unique property there in Glade Hill. We, this is a property in Rocky Mount. Um, in my opinion, one of the more unique properties we have to talk about. Um, 1893 Queen Anne Victorian style home. I mean, that's where we'll start. Okay, 1893 Queen Anne Victorian style home. This is Claiborne Avenue. It's currently being used as, uh, as three apartments. Uh, very unique, each one very unique. A lot of uh, emphasis and detail has gone into the appearance and and when you look when you go through this home we're going to walk through it but it's uh it's it's truly one of a kind um we've got three distinct suites here we've got an ambassador suite the executive suite and the presidential they're all completely furnished um, there's a lot of original oak and hard of pine flooring and just a lot of details in this um, also talk about high ceilings crown molding custom kitchen cabinetry countertop. It's just a very, very unique spot. So we step in here. Um, the first one we're going to show you is the ambassador suite. When you step inside, here we are in the front door. That's a couple shots of the kitchen. Come in. We're going to step out here to the living room. Again, look at the hardwood flooring. Look at the accents. Just very well decorated. A nice place to stay. This is one bedroom and one bath. This is the ambassador suite. We're going to swing around here to the presidential suite. Nice deck here, presidential suite. Porch action. Great place to hang out after a long day. We'll step inside to the living room. A couple shots here of the kitchen. So again, any countertops. Is this is a very, very unique spot. So this one actually has two bedrooms. I think if I remember correctly. No, I'm sorry. Just one here in the presidential suite. One bedroom, and one bath. This is the executive suite. You come up the stairs. Here you got your own private porch here with the executive suite. Nice foyer, a living room area. Counter on the other side. The bedroom, the bath, a shot of the kitchen, great place to hang out and prepare. Bedroom, it actually has two bedrooms here in the executive suite and its own bath, so two bedrooms and two baths here. Step back out, here's a shot of the side and the back. You got to appreciate the landscaping and the effort that's gone into this home here on Claiborne Avenue. So we're going to let that wrap things up today, Bob. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Yeah, thanks for watching our program. Thank you, Cable 12. Miss Clemens, hope you're doing well. Take care. Until next time, guys, we will, well, we look forward to seeing you again on the Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase.